Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've got something a little bit different for you. A reaction video of sorts, although I've already seen the video myself, so admittedly this is going to be more me riffing the video in question, rather than just a first impression style video. However, it is one of those things I believe more people need to see. The specific video itself, for the record, is titled Tanks That Fly 2, M113A8 Aerogavins, and it was released all the way back in November 16th of 2000. 2009. And the channel that created it is described as being, quote, video channel of the first tactical studies group airborne, led by a former U.S. Army paratroop infantry officer NCO and Marine NCO officer, who, when not on multiple overseas deployments, creates actual prototype new equipment to enable the U.S. military to fight and when described in numerous videos, books, magazine articles, and internal proposals. U.S. military sheeple and jock sniffer wannabes boo hoo. So yes, this is apparently a proposal for a prototype vehicle that is meant to be taken seriously. And I want you to keep that in mind as we go through this. Also, for the record, they decided to use the music from James Bond in the background, so I've decided to switch that out for some music from 007 Nightfire, since the music from that game shouldn't be copyright claimed. But with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Okay, so here we are with Tanks That Fly 2, Arrow Gavins. I'm not sure where part 1 is, but I digress. As you tell, we're in for something rather special here, apparently regarding flying tanks. Cheapskate, 1930s Congress said no? Okay. Christie persisted and modern tanks use his designs today. Citation needed. Um... I'm pretty sure none of these are in use right now, for example. FYI, in World War II, biplanes kicked butt. <laughs> I mean, the swordfish did exist, but there's a reason why most aircraft designs in World War II were not biplanes. Two gladiators uh, loitering around an airfield encountered two BF-110s attempting to take off, so uh, apparently gladiators shooting aircraft that are actively just trying to take off is proof that biplanes kicked butt in World War II. Okay. <laughs> Again, you could have used the swordfish as a more famous example, but I digress. Uh, biplanes take off and land anywhere. Citation needed. Start with the world's greatest light tank, M113 Gavin. Citation needed. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yes, we're plus error unit equals the arrow Gavin. <laughs> okay. I notice there's no struts on this thing here, which is probably not a good idea for a biplane. Also, a biplane is probably not a good idea for this vehicle in the first place, but... Makes me wear arrow gavins are armed. <laughs> yes. Place missiles on the detachable, I guess, uh, contraption that you've put onto your APC there. We got some proper Ray Harryhausen effects here, apparently. <laughs> Mission re hostage rescue, okay. Yes, it... <laughs> I'm sure if you were, for example, trying to go into the middle of a big city or in some mountains, trying to land this thing would be a absolute breeze, I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> Why would you... Why would you even paratroop out of that if you're going to land the thing? <laughs> also... At... I love how you can clearly tell this is just someone's uh, living room that's been converted to look like this as well. Yes, these, this really is the mountainous terrain of, our, of Afghanistan. I'm sure you can tell by the carpet. This editing, too, is just... I Honestly, what do I even... What, what should I even say at this point to this thing? Because you can tell that the M113 is about as... 
about as unaerodynamic as you can get, so why on earth would you use this of all things? And uh, I've actually seen another YouTuber named LaserPig do a video on this, and yeah, LaserPig actually brings up a good point on this. Why not just use a helicopter as well? Also, video game footage for your uh, prototype weapon to showcase the ability of your prototype weapon, because that is a great and professional design decision, if there ever was one. You know, right alongside your uh, action man figures there. So, he's going to mount back up um, after, you know, just leaving the missiles there to... on the unit there just for no good reason, but I digress. Also, how are you supposed to take off or reach takeoff speed in a tracked vehicle like this? <laughs> That's still never going to get old, but uh, yeah, mission accomplished indeed. All right. I mean, do I really need to say anything here about just how hilarious this entire idea is? Do I actually need to? <laughs> and yes, this apparently is going to make your professional uh, video look all the more professional. So, yeah, it looks like I think that's close to about the end of this, apparently. It just uh, shows the images of these things. You know, the machine that can do this a little bit better than that. Uh, Aerogavin, even. But, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to <laughs> see this thing airdrop uh, troops again, because, of course, yes, that... <laughs> I'm pretty sure, also, the M113 can't carry that many people in it, so... I know it, can't, I know it is an APC, of course, but still, it's... So yeah, we'll uh, go ahead. I think this is pretty much the end of the video. Yes, it is. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just... I mean, again, did I really... This is just, like I said so ridiculous though that I had to show it to you guys because it just this is legitimately hilarious in my opinion um, but once again though I did of course have to change out the music I will admit but yeah so I, yeah I'm pretty sure we are at the end of the video here so I'll just let it play through just for the completionist sake of it and uh, <laughs> we get one more shot of that because of course we do <laughs> Okay, so that is the end of it. And <laughs> I still, I've seen this thing, I have seen this video more than once, I will admit, but it is still just hilarious to me. And just, I still cannot recommend watching this thing enough, the original video enough, because it is just pure unintentional comedy gold. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed me uh, riffing and having a laugh at this video, and I hope you've had a laugh with me. Admittedly, it wasn't particularly difficult to make fun of this because, well, again, the video kind of speaks for itself. Now, I do know that other YouTubers like LaserPig already showed this on his, but his video is also much longer and isn't really doing that much to riff on it. It just, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. In any case, uh, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.